Hello, this is Abraham Klein with Salzburg Videos, and today we're here with Linda Slipinski and Julie Dunmeyer. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the River Hall in Salzburg. Uh, so, hello ladies, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, good. Do you want to come over here? Okay, okay she's going to work you that. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, the, the, um, these two are, uh, they help out at the River Hall. They're also members of the fire department, right? Yes. Uh, and uh, they're very active here. Uh, so, Linda, tell us a little bit about the River Hall as far as, uh, for those, again, that may not be, uh, that may be new to the area or maybe have lived here their whole life, have seen this building and don't know anything about it. Okay. What is the River Hall? Uh, the River Hall was built in 1998, I believe, and they built the um, building with the thought of having the top part of the building, which is now River Hall, as one of their main fundraisers. So any money that we make uh, at River Hall, any profits are sent to the downstairs of the department, and it's used for safety equipment, uh, whatever you know they need to operate the downstairs. And again, everything is uh, volunteer, so none of us get, no one gets paid for this. It's all volunteer uh, jobs. All right. Specifically, how long have you been involved? Well, obviously you've been involved with the uh, River Hall for some time. Were you previously involved with the uh, department? Years ago, I was an auxiliary member, and then I took a break, break for a while. But when they approached me in 2006, that's when I became uh, a paper uh, mem a member on paper, so to speak. Ad hoc members of the Yes, yeah. exactly. And uh, but they approached me and wanted to know if I would you know, run River Hall for them. So what I do is I take all the phone calls if somebody wants to have a baby shower, for a 50th anniversary party, uh, wedding receptions. Um, I take all of those calls, set up appointments, I meet with the prospective clients, and then um, you know make all the arrangements. Uh, for weddings, we have um, a caterer that we use from Indiana, they're called Family Affair. Um, they're a large uh, part of our success. Uh, the food is very good. Uh, we also include five hours of an open bar, uh, for weddings, so there's a lot of different uh, ways that we make money here. Okay, um, and you know, also events take place, and we'll get into some of those a little bit. But with one of the main things that happens here is bingo, and right. that's where uh, Julie, you sort and of uh, are that, uh, right. pretty involved in. Yeah. And uh, so Julie, tell us a little bit about the. Yeah, bingo. I'll pass it over to to Julie. Okay. Uh, Go ahead, Joel. Bingo uh, runs every Tuesday evening. Uh, our early birds start at 7 o'clock, although most of the customers uh, start in or trickling in around 5 o'clock p.m. Uh, we offer a nice menu selection now in our kitchen. We've really been trying to step up the foods. And uh, to keep people engaged in our bingo, we've, we've made some changes. Uh, and it's more uh, player friendly to our bingo. We've listened to our customers. And as a result, I, I feel that we have one of the most successful bingos in the area, and we're very proud of that fact. Okay. Uh, how long have you personally been involved with the department as well as the bingo and all that? At least four years. Okay. Uh, was there something that, did you get into the department uh, because you wanted to be involved with bingo, or was it just, uh, how, did, how did that all come about? My mother passed away in 2010, and I wanted to do something to honor her memory, and she so loved this bingo that I determined that maybe this is what I should um, should do, is just come down and offer to volunteer. Uh, one thing led to another. Okay. Uh, back to uh, uh, what all happens at, at, at the Tuesday night bingo, what are some of the things that uh, are hey, offered? That's like Vegas. We don't talk about that anymore. <laughs> it's privilege. Okay. <laughs> All right. The five hundred dollar. Yeah, we, we feature uh, different jackpots, such as the uh, we have a letter X jackpot that is a progressive jackpot up to five hundred ninety nine dollars. We also, ever, on a weekly basis, we give away for a little town of Salzburg. We have a five hundred dollar must go jackpot every each and every week of the year. We give away five hundred dollars for sure. In addition, we have a lucky ticket jackpot. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we do actually. We have an early bird jackpot in addition to our regular early bird games. Okay. Uh, we mentioned the other, uh, there's other events that happen. Uh, if I remember right, you guys have 
there are certain events like craft shows and things that happen yeah, at the, the River Hall. Yeah, the Ladies Auxiliary, they hold um, two craft shows, one in the spring and one in the fall. In the, fall. Uh, the downstairs, they also sponsor Cosmic Bingos. Uh, they do gun bashes. So the department, as well as our outside clients, do hold a lot of fundraising here right at River Hall. Okay. And uh, as far as capacity, uh, what's, uh, you know, what what kind of crowd can one expect if they wanted to fill the place up? What? Well, for the gun bashes, I know uh, there are a lot, a lot of people here for those. Mm -hmm. They say that it holds up to about 300. Um, however, if we're having a wedding reception here, and there's 300 people, it does get, you know, pretty tight. But they say up to 300 would be the capacity for the room. Okay. Um, uh, would you be willing to give like, uh, are, are there specific prices that... Uh, yeah, we have for weddings, um, uh, we have a price per person plan, and that d gives them two choices for the menu and al also the five hours of an open bar. So what I do is sit down with the clients and I go over the pricing and tell them exactly, you know, what they would get for their price per person. Um, baby showers, wedding showers, uh, it, they're a lot more informal. And there's just a flat fee, which is, you know, very reasonable for those types of events. Okay. And um, what do you like about, what are some of the features about the hall that you like specifically for the, uh, for those that might want to use it? Um, I enjoy working with the people very much. Uh, it's, uh, again, doing this as a volunteer. I'm retired also from working. So it gets me out of the house and keeps me busy. But it's a fun job for me because nine times out of ten, happy events are being planned here. All right. Um, trying to think of the question I had. Uh, oh yeah, somebody wants to be a part of bingo some night. Uh, what's the best way? Uh, tell us a little bit about the information of the of bingo. You know, come on in. Or if they wanted more information, is there a number they would call? Yeah, they can call. Um, our fire department phone number, or actually I would have them call our my River Hall phone. Um, and that number is 724-639-4093. And that will immediately send them to my cell phone. And people are very, um, uh, I'm very willing to take any phone calls. Uh, if they want to just stop in, um, our early birds start at 6.30, regular games at 7.00. However, as Julie just said, about 5 o'clock people will come in early uh, to get their area set up and also to um, buy their dinners, uh, snacks, and things from our kitchen. Okay. This has been Abraham Klein with Linda Slapinski and Julie Dunmire talking a little bit about the River Hall and uh, bingo. So uh, we hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, or if you haven't enjoyed the video, it doesn't matter. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, definitely share it with everybody you know and check out other great videos here on the Salzburg Videos YouTube channel. Thank you all and have a wonderful day. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank yep. you.